Hello guys and welcome to another immersive engineering tutorial video. Today we will mostly talk about the excavator. I will demonstrate how to build it and how to place it and we'll talk about where to place it thanks to the core sample drill. Um, but first we will talk about and demonstrate two very useful things when you are working with the excavator. Conveyor belts. Leather, iron, redstone, nothing strange. And yeah, let's start with that. Place it on the ground, right click like this, and uh, things will, uh, if you do like this and throw things, then they will go on the belt and just end up over there. If you shift and place, then it will go the other way around. And then you can use the hammer to rotate. You can shift and right click with the hammer to, uh, to elevate it. And you can continue like this. And uh, all right, things are in the wrong direction. So like that, very simple. And if you do, no, come here. If you place a chest like this, in the end, things will just end up in the chest. Okay, so that's basically the conveyor belt. You can uh, do it like this and they will just do exactly what you want. All right, so we can use the conveyor belt to craft ourselves with a hopper, the dropping conveyor belt. And this means simply means that let's see if we can place this if we can do like this up and then we can continue over here wrong shift right click like that and let's drop it a few items and it will, they will be pushed down into the chest all right simple easy very useful and uh, this will be coming in handy when we uh, are working with the excavator in just a bit so but before we do that we need to know where to drill or where to excavate <laughs> uh, so we have this item or this block core sample drill you have some steel fence scaffolding and a light engineering block so it's not very expensive uh, and it's reusable, so you don't need to have that many. When you place it, it looks like this, as a tower. The, uh, the scaffolding parts are a part of it, so uh, it look, looks like this. And all these, these uh, sides down here, they are the power inputs. Because if you right click it like this, it says 0% progress, because the, it needs power to uh, to take a core sample of this chunk and if we take a look at the chunk boundaries so this chunk entire chunk will be analyzed when i do like this and if i place it like here then the output is on in my direction so like this will start it and i think it takes 600 ticks to uh, to complete that's 30 seconds so just wait 30 seconds and your, your core sample drill will take a sample of this chunk and it will tell you if this is a good place to, to use the excavator because that means that we have found what is called a mineral deposit. So, um, okay, it's done. Right click, no minerals found. Too bad. But there are other chunks to investigate, so uh, we can just break it and move it and start all, all over again. But let's say that we, uh, that we found something. We have found there are different types of... Uh, let's see. If we go into the deposit and we go into here, you can find all the types of mineral veins and you, if it's magnetite then you will get iron and gold and if we find quartzite then you will get both nether quartz and surface quartz since I have AE2 installed as well so 
perhaps this is very uh, a very good place to to mine because they are not easy to find in normal cases so let's start with this part this is what is called the 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 bucket wheel so dig down too to get it correctly ele elevated because the engine is uh, you have to center it at that block so that's two blocks up so we need to dig it down too and when it looks like this you are done and you just right click the center block this will give you the bucket wheel and then you can simply build your your engine around it slightly more advanced uh, recipe so there are heavy engineering blocks and light engineering we have steel and there are also steel scaffolding so it's quite expensive but when it's done it looks like this it runs on uh, quite a lot of rf you need 4000 rf per tick to uh, to get it to run and it's very power consuming so uh, you will quickly empty one of these capacitors if you just place it these are the three inputs here is a redstone input to uh, start and stop and this is the item output so when you have built these two together it looks like this and now it's working sadly this actually i uh, <laughs> by accident i built it in two chunks i don't know which one uh, is the i will guess this is the main one but i don't know but since this one says no minerals found and this one says the same we won't get any minerals at all and uh, let's see this is full so let's start it okay like that great it's it's running 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 but we didn't get anything we just got a few dirt and grass and then and nothing else so you really need to place this on a mineral deposit but as you can see i already burnt through half the capacitor so uh, you need a decent power source perhaps a diesel engine like we had over there could be a good thing so let's just show how it works when it how it's supposed to be as you can see here i did a lot of uh, digging and um, one per chunk and only three down here had some uh, had some minerals in it i think this one was galena and this is lapis and here we had quartzite so this is a good one because they are hard to find uh, those ores i mean and here is another quartzite so i found this and i had it running for a while and as you can see here i have the conveyor belts on the output i have a chest down here to fill and as you can see i have a lot lots and lots of uh, of drops or fi findings i'm using the creative capacitor because yeah you know power consuming so let's start it and see how it looks now we're really getting minerals and the output is actually quite insane you get one ore per per scoop and this one will be filled quite quickly so if we just fill it like this then you see that it's full and items will just go by and go to the next one so they're ending up in here right now and when you go to the core sample you can actually see how much you have uh, left in the <laughs> in the deposit and all this that you see here only took up slight well less than two percent so we have lots i think it says 140 days continuously runs so you can get really really a lot of uh, 
of minerals doing this. Perhaps you don't need it all. Perhaps you want to move it to some other deposit. It's up to you. But anyway, I think that's pretty much it for the excavator and the conveyor belts and the core sample drill. Break it, move it, find your next deposit and have a lot of power to run because it's quite power hungry. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.